today from Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. This is Madden NFL 21. Stadium in Tampa. Just a short time ago, the Buccaneers emerging from their tunnel to the roar of this frenzied crowd here in the Sunshine State. And we're in the big ship, and fittingly, everyone here ready to do battle as Tampa Bay gets ready to match up with Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. First try on offense for the Bucs and their veteran quarterback, Tom Brady. Well, partner, how many times do we talk about it going into a season? At some point, we have to figure that age is going to catch up to Tom Brady. But how long have we been wrong about that? I'd say probably about the last 10 years. Last year, he threw for over 4,000 yards again. Should go over 75,000 passing yards in his career early this season. He's still got it. And what a new challenge he's got in Tampa Bay. Excited about the opportunity. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. Looking back to the air on second down, it's Brady. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? Open man has got what it's complete. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. That third down conversion good for 23. Throwing on first down is Brady. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Incomplete. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. To throw again. Brady. Again for Evans. This time he's got him. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. This defense tightening up a bit. That last catch just one yard, making it third and nine. Again, it's Brady. And he'll check this one down to McCoy. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. How about this for an opening drive decision? You got fourth and short, just outside of field goal range. And it's a fake here on fourth and inches. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. And this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 45. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he's able to get across midfield and down into Buccaneer territory. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. From just shy of midfield, Prescott got his man there complete to Gallup. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. A gain of nine yards. First down, Dallas. A first down carry by Elliott. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Cowboy first down. 
A tough run by Ezekiel Elliott, the fourth overall pick in the 2016 draft. If you watch tape of him in college, you saw plenty of those runs because I know the highlight showed him in the open field breaking away from people, but that's how he wore down defenses, those exact type of runs. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. From the red zone now, Prescott. And that is caught, but he will come down out of bounds, says the side judge, incomplete. C.D. Lamb is intended target. And now it's second down. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. And able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. A gain of seven yards. And it's... Third and short yardage, Prescott. Oh, they would have gotten the conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. For the Cowboys. Some mistakes already in the first quarter. If he holds on to that one, first down. Yeah, I guarantee you at least one defensive back out there has reminded him of that fact, trying to get into his head and hoping that'll affect him the rest of the game. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. The Bucks take over first and 10 at their own 24 yards. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. the ground this is Leonard Fournette and he'll get this one up to the 26. Give him three on first down it'll set up a second and seven. Yeah I don't know if it's exactly a win-win but if you're on offense you'll take that kind of a run all right it was kind of stacked up found a little bit of yardage and frankly they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense the playbook is still open. And he will go down a cowboy sack. Tremendous read and reaction by the defensive tackle and frankly partner. It's not that often the DTs have that type of easy access back to the quarterback. Never bought the play action fade. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 12-yard line. Not at all what they envisioned on third down. Three yards in the wrong direction. That's a nice clip and save sequence there defensively because they did everything as they would have wanted to. They forced the third down. Blanketed the field with coverage. Nowhere to go with the football. Forced the dump off to the back. And even then, they closed quickly and got him down behind the line of scrimmage. You name it, they did it well in that last sequence. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and ten on their side of midfield at the 47. He'll hand it off to Elliott to begin the drive. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, 53 yards. And the Cowboys are able to show off their quick strike ability. Bottom line, when you play a runner with these talents, you've got to be able to wrap up and get him on the ground. Or the first person who gets there, hold him up long enough for the next wave to get there and get him down. Otherwise, he will continue downfield and find pay dirt. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. He's got it, and now it's a 10-0 lead here in the opening quarter. Personal foul, roughing the kicker. Defense. What's the deal, y'all? So they will accept the penalty Brings and move forward. Kick off for Dallas. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. This taken in about four yards deep. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. 25-yard line. Mike Evans in the Tampa offense about to set up shop. They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. He's tackled. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? Here's a throw caught by Gronkowski. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Gronkowski. 
think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially, and the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. They'll start the drive with Elliott. He finds an opening past the 40. And he takes it across the 50 to the 46 yard line. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. And it is still early, just the first quarter. But you start prorating the numbers, and we might be in for some history. I mean, that last run puts him over 100 yards already, and we've still got three quarters to go. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. 10-0 to score after one on EA Sports. Nothing. They'll run on first down. It's Elliott. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. A gain of a lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called, they are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. For Ezekiel Elliott. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here in 10, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. Ezekiel Elliott. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. The field goal is good. Makes the score, Cowboys, 13. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. This is T.J. Logan to return it. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul-searching now? I would say so. And they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot more position. than normal, put them in some tough spots. But what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. At the 33-yard line. Looking to throw again on second down. Brady to Evans on the slam. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. And that is incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. On second down, it's McCoy. And he's got this one across midfield in the Cowboy territory. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. The Bucks on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and six. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. The three yards all they can muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. The dialed up the screen pass on third down, and for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down, but the defense got there and finished it off. 
And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. Zeke and the Cowboys ready to begin their next drive. And with the day he's having as we look at some of these highlights, maybe he wants to duplicate this pregame meal next week. Whatever it is, guaranteed he will ask for the exact same thing each and every week as long as he continues to run like that. Sometimes it's that simple, partner. Yeah. Just, you, know, and you know how superstitious these guys are. Oh, be. there's no doubt, right? If you put your left sock on first and you have this kind of game, you'll keep doing it. In this case, let's investigate that pregame meal. We might need some of that. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, well, this is taken in. It's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 36 yards on the play. So the big play gets them across midfield now for first and 10. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. The loss of three on that first down pass play. Now second and 13. Dak dropping this one off for Zeke. It'll be a pickup of only a yard. And they'll be facing a third and 12. It's a gain of a yard. And it's third down. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Prescott's pass intended for C.D. Lamb. I like what they tried to do there. Tried to hit him with something quick, get the ball in his hands, and hope he could make some yards after the catch and pick up a first down. Weren't able to do so on that play. And they will get to this one and down it at the 13-yard line. At their own 13-yard line. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And right now, these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yes, yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. On second down, here's Fournette. Two yards the game there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. The Bucks on third down, just one for five to this point. This is third and four. From the gun, it's Brady. The catch made by Miller. And all the way down to the 29. A big play there on the catch and run. 51 yards. Every defensive staff harps on limiting explosive plays. <laughs> Job not so well done there. Yeah, they talk about it all the time. A lot harder to stop, though, isn't it? And when you think of an explosive play, most offensive staffs define them as passes of 20 or more yards and runs of 15 or more yards. They went zoom and pass that number there. Brady's a good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Eight yards on the Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Cowboys, 22-yard line. Shotgun now for Brady. Pass complete to his receiver, Godwin. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. First and ten. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. We remind you that coming up in two minutes time, we'll hand you off to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. And break, the tight end's got it. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Cowboys, nine yard line. Throwing again on second down. Brady, this will be caught at about the five. And he'll be brought down here at the three yard line. That play gets him six yards and sets them up with a first and goal. Godwin's got it. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Touchdown pass, and the Bucks have made this a one-score game. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key it's word, good. quick. Good. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, it's into the receiver's hands even faster. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And it's now 13 to 7. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Cowboys take over first and 10. 
at their own 22-yard line. And let's gaze our attention on Ezekiel Elliott. He's already cruised past the 100-yard mark. We haven't even gone away for halftime yet. He might not want halftime. <laughs> right, why cool off? Keep everybody here. <laughs> they'll stay out on the field and keep going. But all that being said, everything is really working well for them. The play calling's been excellent. The blocking's been terrific. And obviously his vision and legs have hurtled him to this big number so far. We could be seeing something really special here. And we'll see how much they give him the ball here. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Prescott from the gun. Flush to his right. And he's going to keep it here. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. To throw again on second down. Prescott, and that is incomplete here. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Four yards. Prescott from the gun on third. Drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. It was the linebacker, Devin White, there to knock it away. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Oh, it is the punt team now as this one sent away. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Tom Brady leads the offense out for their next possession. But a decent start for him here in this first half, but they're losing. And I think as the captain of the offense, you probably always feel like you need to do more in that situation. The best have always felt that way. And they won't settle for anything less. So right now, his goal is to increase what he's doing on the field. Try to make sure his teammates come along with him. And he feels like if I do better, everyone will do better. And that's what we're seeing from him right now. Get up. An abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three. Buccaneers seven. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 26. He'll throw from the gun. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Amari Cooper, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. That would complete Elliott. He'll have a first down past the 40. And finally brought down right at the midfield stripe. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. A completion, yes, but certainly not what they wanted. A loss of a full six yards. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. He's going to find Gallup here complete. Prescott's pass. The reception good for seven. It's third down. A seven-yard gain on the play. And it's third. And the box with an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. And again, it's Prescott. Cooper's got it. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. And the Cowboy first down. On first down, Elliott. He's got the first down inside the 10. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. The Cowboys. Now Mike McCarthy saying, let's go for two. 
circle that drive because that might be one to remember well executed to give him a little cushion well let's take it into the boxing ring you talk about them commanding it keeping the fight where they wanted to whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab jab or jab and finally the haymaker to put that drive away and around the goal line especially on two-point tries sometimes the qb's best friend is that big target the tight end i love how you described it because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius as well as a big body to keep people away from the ball. Now a hit and a loose football. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Zero turnovers in this game so far. The trend continues, but barely. Offense lucky that that one went out of bounds. Yeah, they're very fortunate because when a game's going along like this one and neither side has turned the ball over, sometimes that first one can really flip things to their advantage in this type of a game. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three at the 31-yard line. They'll keep it on the ground with McCoy this time. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Four yards the pick up, first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. On play action, it's Brady. And he'll get that to Fournette, complete. A good rally to the football, keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes us second and nine. Now Leonard Fournette. Fournette, a first down, still going. Fournette fighting through. Now he's going to get this all the way down to the Cowboys' six-yard line. A big run by the big man Fournette. Give him 58 yards on the ground. Six-yard line. Trailing here in the third, and that run might just be the spark that this offense needs. And don't you just get the sense that he's going around, not just in the huddle, but looking over at the bench and saying, ball, give me the ball. Let me carry this thing home. Only a yard that time, second and goal. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Now Brady. And Evans calls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Bucks are able to make this a close game again. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Cowboys take over first and 10. And they're all Ezekiel on. Elliott gets ready to go again here on offense as he shuffles onto the field. He is hoping to find the end zone for a third time, and we sit now in the third quarter. And nothing would excite him more, but I think even more so, his offensive line. Anytime you've got a guy scoring that many times, that means you've done a really nice job in front of him. You're always giving props to the big fellas up front. It's always a good idea. Those are some massive men. Prescott now. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Again. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. And a nice run. They're going to take this close to the first down marker at the Bucks 28. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. Prescott on first down. Eluding the pressure right. This is caught. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, 28 yards. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. And that's another route that defenders would vote to take out of the game. The wheel route? Oh, without a doubt. You're just trying to move everybody in one direction. And whether it's a running back or another receiver, as they zip out on the sideline, you've got a problem on your hands. Yeah, well, the defenders hate it there. It happened, and it resulted in a touchdown. He's got it as they double up the lead. 
This one's now 28-14. Just a four-play drive that time. And it's capped off for the Cowboys' touchdown. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Dickens on the return. The Bucks take over first and 10. At their own 24, the Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minutes. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. play action. Now it's Brady. They're looking for Godwin, but it's intercepted. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. Brady's pass intercepted by the Cowboys. Ah, oh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball, and I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. This will be caught at about the six. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Michael Gallup on the receiving end from Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high-flying plays, but a good number of them play running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays, run after the catch. And this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone. Zerline good with a PAT, and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. And this carries into the end zone. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. It's second and 10 now as we roll along in the third quarter from Tampa. Throwing again, Brady. And that's incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and 10. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Now the third down throw incomplete as well. This is old brain remembers. When I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Dak and the Cowboy offense heading back onto the field. He's been a good game manager. They're winning here in the third quarter, but really the ground game is where it's been at for them, hasn't it? So whatever the game plan was, you just got to focus on continuing to run the football. And really, that takes the pressure off of the guy throwing it around. Doesn't have to be the focal point. Hand it off. Let him chew up the yardage and big plays. And your team's winning. Only people upset the fantasy guys who may have started him at quarterback <laughs> in their leagues. And we'll see if they continue with the recipe of the ground game. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. 19 yards there on the catch and run. And the three quarters have come and gone. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. And a pretty good run there as he gets seven down to the 33. Now I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try to finish off the game. 
First down run with Elliott going to go for about four. Second and six coming up. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. They, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. The Cowboys on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third and four. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. He's got a man complete. It's Amari Cooper. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. How about a guy proving his worth in different ways? Had the big play in the run game to play before. This time, they go right back to him in the passing game, and he comes through with yet. Oh, Prescott stripped. And a great return as they're finally able to take him down. Back now comes Tampa Bay. Five on defense. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Brady. He'll set up the screen to McCoy. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. Give him 30 yards there. And defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. That first down completion only netted them three. Second and seven. Again, they'll throw with Brady. He completes it to Evans. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Again, it's Brady. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Sean Lee, the longtime vet, getting in and getting to the QB. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. And he will have the first down, but he winds up paying for it pretty good. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. On first and ten, here's Brady. And this is caught by Evans. And down inside the 15 he goes. Another connection between the two. This one good for 12 and a first down. From the 13 now, they work on first and ten. Into the red zone, it's Brady. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Now Brady again, and it's caught, and he's into the end zone, touchdown Buccaneers, from 13 yards out, and the Bucs are able to cut in now to that deficit. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, 
Okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one to five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one to five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah, yeah you know, it doesn't feel right. Exactly. <laughs> They'll run on first down. Italio. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right in the yard. You need your wide receivers as blockers. Sometimes they get a hold. The big runs are often a result of what they do on the perimeter. In this case, got caught holding, and this one will come back. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. No Prescott here to throw. The quick slant caught. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll come up now on second and a yard. They'll try to run it in with Allium, and he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Touchdown. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. And let's not forget, he had the receiving touchdown earlier. Now a trio of rushing touchdowns. Quite a performance. Diversification, that's all you can talk about. His ability to do everything leaves him on the field on every down on offense because you can hand it to him, as we've seen. But you say three rushing touchdowns, and of course throw it to him where he's caught one as well. With it on the return is Logan. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. At their own 22-yard line. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge. And someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. Brings up so second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. And he'll check this one down to McCoy. And McCoy loses the football. And it's picked up by the Cowboys. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, down this big in the yeah, you say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right? Just us against the world and get it done. <laughs> I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. 42. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And